Hey, welcome back. We are now back at uh, Changsha. I did want to show this off real quick. I did put in Yan Yan and Zhang Ren. Uh, this one will be temporary, because I do want to show a few things. Let's see. Yeah, and I gained a level when I was actually heading back to, uh... But I bought some, uh, other armor. Oh, yeah. I bought the chainmail, and I went back and I bought the copper hats. I guess when I was... Uh, I went back to the Luo to, uh, and head back to the town. Uh, I bought the copper hat. Yeah. So we went from 105 to 140. Chainmail increased us quite a bit. So, but uh, the reason I wanted to uh, put these guys in... Oh, let me actually go to the castle. Because even though we lost Zhang Fei and uh, Guan Yu, they're going to give us some people. Hey, Guan Yu. Okay. All right. Guanzing. Now then, I'm also going to go pick up uh, Zhang Fei's son. Then, show you what they say. Then I'll come back here. Move. Okay. Then I'll come back and actually check out what he does in the eatery. I was reading some of the other uh, walkers, and it's actually called billeting, and I wasn't paying attention to it. But oh well. Oh, I should move my chow. But yeah, I'll be mo messing with that stuff in a minute anyways. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Oh. Oh. Ah, here we go. Ooh. Ah, uh, someone else calling himself the Emperor. And there's another Emperor. Well... Oh, hey, Zhang Bao. Yeah, that's exact same name as uh, that yellow scar from the very first uh, chapter. Now then, we are supposed to go to Chengdu, but... We're not supposed to do that until after we uh, save everyone. But the reason why I want to put them in the eatery building first is because later on there's a, a character that you that you will get that uh hold on staff that you do that you yeah he's arguably the second best character in the game hey look saying about 240 strength 150 strength uh, intellect yeah he's not as strong but he has the same amount of troops and he is smart so he'll take uh well he'll survive a bit longer so because he has higher intellect Guan Zing just a little bit weaker. 237 strength, 175. And he is actually pretty quick. The thing is, you get a character later, has like 204 strength, 225 uh, intellect, but he has like 250 speed. He's the best guy in the game. And it's arguably that, uh, well, it's arguable that uh, you do not want Zhang Bao. I mean, you can use him if you want, but and I probably will. But, uh, you cannot put away Guanzing or, uh... Shit. Zhang Bao or Guanzing. I am taking Guanzing. Let me make sure he has the right equipment on. Okay. But, uh... The way I'm looking at it, I will... If I might put him in, it'll be some other time. Oh, excuse me. Oh, let me check what order. Okay. Oh. There we go. But, uh, if I do use that other character, I will probably... Well, I might not use him, because I would be using Zhang Bao, Guan Zhang, Ma Chao, Zhao Yun, and Zhu Yilang. I would probably use him as a tactician, because he is, like, the second best Ansha. Yeah, the one Maling learned, Ansha. Cost 10 uh, TP. But I would probably be using that group, because he's the second best. You can get another guy, but you have to uh, recruit him. I'd recommend recruit him anyways, but if you want to use John Way, you can, in theory, replace him with anyone. So what I have done before is uh, I've replaced much out with them. But that's just me. 
because Zhang Bao has the troops, he almost hits as hard, and Guanzing has a speed. But it's all up to you, it's personal preference. You can replace them with anyone. Well, let's go un make sure we're uninvaded now. And what's. Oh! Look at that. Yeah, now we're getting to be fighting against people with uh, 5,000 and up. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, yeah, you're my next smartest. Let's just play with it. Uh, we're doing pretty good. And this is why Ansha is so good. If it's successful, instantly takes them out. Doesn't matter how much uh, soldiers they have. That's why it's so good. The one the problem is, though, is that the enemies can use it as well. If they have enough intellect. But here's the other thing. Since they can use it during all out, and if they are generally smart people, your two best people to use it will be Zalion and... Uh, What's the other guy? Zui Lang. <laughs> I'm forgetting people's names already. Yeah, but that can be a problem. So your best bet is when fighting other stuff later on, because once uh, Zui Lang gets much more uh, soldiers, I'll probably be taking out my day and putting Zui Lang in. That way I can do that. Everyone else can focus physical, and then we can just crush them. But now we need to go to Ling Lang. Okay, let's see. I thought I was actually out of fight in the gate. Teasing me. You jerks. <laughs> no, I do not want any of you. Oh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, I'm getting into battles a lot more than I was previously. Ling Tong Wu Fei. Nah, it's okay, strength, I don't know. 184. Yeah, but the reason uh, I like this setup, my first three people are really strong, and uh, then uh, Zhao Yun and Zhi Lang, they will be casting the spells. They can drop just about anyone. Well, just about. You'll be running across people later on that have like. 230 to 250 intellect. Zugi Ling's the only one that can actually hit him with Ansha. Well, just about. Alright, see how much easier these battles are now? It does use up uh, 10 tactic points, but yeah, we're just rolling through everything. Yeah, well, we have taken care of the invading enemies. Oof. That's oof, fan. Oh, Wanfu. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I was just thinking about it. I was like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Why are you named after a spell? Hmm, apparently not. Okay. Let's see. What does our lord have to say now? Hey, what's up? Ah, they took out the Emperor. What do we do now? Ah. We advise you to do things now. Yes, because you are a descendant of the Emperor. But you don't want to. Yeah, so what are you going to do? Are you going to let them be the Emperor? Or are you going to take care of it? Because you're related to them. Alright. We are now going to call ourselves the Emperor. And we have to take care of them. Yeah, we will take care of them. If I do not have another Goldwing... 
I, I'll pick one up later. So. <laughs> Brigands. But yeah, it doesn't really direct you on where to go next, but since this is the area that we were attacked in, we're supposed to go this way. Once I stop getting into battles. We'll be coming up to the point soon where we will not be fighting brigands or pirates for the most part. Here you go. Let me through. Come on. Okay. We now have a bridge. We are in a new area. See? Thing Sal. Oh, man, this guy's got a lot of intellect. What was his strength? Not bad. Yeah, the only one that could in pretty much hit him would be Zugi Lang. I mean, we could get lucky, but I expect only Zugi Lang to be able to hit him. Oh, yeah. Beige, Beiji, whatever. It can keep making himself getting stronger, so if he keeps powering himself with that, he will hit pretty damn hard. Ah. Eh. Let's just I'll go all out. Oh, I do want to save some tactic points, and... Yeah, he hit for 700. But that's okay. 1,022. We get pretty good experience. Oh, yeah. Be careful around water now, because these guys... They actually have a very good navy, and because uh, of that, uh, they're high intellect as well. Ooh. Yeah, he has over 10,000. He's going to be over the next threshold. Yeah, last threshold was 1,000. Now it's over 10,000. See? He hits really damn hard. But he doesn't have a lot of strength. Uh, intellect is decent. The uh, strength, 195. But since he's, he has over that threshold, he can still do quite a bit of damage like that. I wish we got him on a threshold earlier. But, as you can see, we're about to hit him with Ansha. You better hit him. I'm talking this spell up like it's amazing, and it is. See? Done. I ho hope I actually did buy me some elixirs. <laughs> I don't recall if I did. It's been a couple days since the last recording. 1577. I just gained a level before I got here. Uh, okay, now I'm getting more. Jin Zian. Yeah, that is that ability only uh, Zugi Lang will know. And the thing about it is it costs like four. Uh, who needs it? Yeah, it costs about four, uh, four tactical points, and it heals your party for about four thousand soldiers each. It is very nice to have, and we could make use of it. But I want Ansha. Look how strong he is, and I'm glad he's not over the uh, ten thousand threshold. But Lu Su, he's got some pretty good intellect. But we'll take these guys out. If I could get either or or both. It'd be nice. Yeah, I'd use Lucio over Ramon Liang, and God Ning would come in temporary. He does hit pretty uh, damn hard as well. And he's over, uh, he has over 6,000. He'd be a good use for a while. Yep. Ah. Uh, Oh, well, just all out. Oh yeah, the reason why we went in there and they were attacking and we were doing nothing, he cast G-Mine. For a couple rounds, we cannot do any physical damage. Alrighty. That's that. <laughs> 45. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. We are now in the town of Jianan. And I will show you guys this town in the next episode, so thank you for joining me today. Y'all have a nice day.